Hello and welcome to another video, my name is Kwan Blay, and this is another Chelsea transfer news today video for you guys where I'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest news surrounding Chelsea in the past 24 to 48 hours, even in the past week. There hasn't been that much news, but there have been some big outlets, big reports and publications by uh, regarding David Alaba. We'll be delving into David Alaba and all the reports. Lionel Messi, um, nothing major, nothing big regarding Lionel Messi, but it's just my thoughts, opinions, and there has been some rumours regarding Chelsea and Messi in the link and rumours there. Also, we're delving into Thiago Silva and how he could potentially be in negotiation to extend his current one-year deal and get another, you know, another deal for the, you know, the uh, the season after this season. And yeah, delving into all the reports, all the latest news. But if you do enjoy this, um, if you don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, comment down your thoughts, means in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's get straight into today's Chelsea transfer news day. Now, apologies uh, if my voice is not great. I am a bit under the weather. Um, not feeling too great. Um, nothing COVID related. It's a very minor cold. Um, but yeah, my voice is not the same. But starting off with the Alaba news, big, big reports and big news. And it's coming from CF Bayern, now Christian Falk. Now, you may recognise his name. Um, he was heavily involved in the Kai Havertz deal and the Timo Werner news. Um, you know, he's a German reporter. Essentially, he's the mouthpiece for Bayern Munich. Has a lot of information inside sources regarding Bayern Munich and all the German football when it comes to Bundesliga football. Christian Falk is the man for that and he writes for CF Bayern. Now, essentially, the agent of David Alaba plays a key role here. The agent is Pini Zahavi. You may also have heard his name before. He has very close connections to Ron Abramovich. If anything, you may even say he's best mates with Ron Abramovich. He's a super agent in football. Um, and essentially, when Pini Zahavi is an agent of a player, you will see him get linked to Chelsea because him and Ron Bavage have a very, very good relationship. And David Alaba has been stalling on the contract with Bayern Munich for time now. We're talking months and months and potentially years now. David Alaba's current contract ends in the following summer. Um, so, of course, in January, he'll have six months remaining on his contract, meaning he will be free to negotiate or talk to any clubs outside the Bundesliga for free because he will be a free agent. And him being 20 years of old in his prime, for me, it's a no-brainer. Now, I'll give you, you guys my thoughts on this in a second. But essentially what they're saying is the agent of David Alaba, Pini Zahavi, plans to start talks in January with Chelsea about a transfer of his client. Now, specifically Chelsea have been mentioned here. Chelsea did hold interest in the summer window, but of course we were extremely busy. You know, we had so many targets and so many, you know, positions on the field that we had to address that we simply didn't have time. And David Alaba wasn't that keen on Chelsea at the time. Um, but of course, with the project that's happening right now and how we're developing as a team, we are becoming more attractive as a proposition and therefore David Alaba might be more attractive. Now, he has, again, like, as I stressed, stored on a contract. Um, Bayern Munich, of course, want to keep him. He's a world-class defender. But he wants to leave. Uh, many reasons, maybe regarding finances, he wants a new challenge. Uh, he's been at Bayern Munich for you know, nearly a decade now. He's been there for years and years. And for him, it may be time to move on. You know, it's a similar situation with Thiago Alcantara. You know, he's a world-class player. And Bayern Munich, they were just European champions. But they've been there for so long now, they want a new challenge. And hence, it's, you know, Thiago Alcantara moved to Liverpool. And that, you could see that with David Alaba. Now, the only issue here will be finances because, of course, he will be a free agent, so there'll be a massive signing on bonus, and he will command around, I've seen rumours, of £250,000 a week. Now, given my thoughts opinions on the Alaba news, I think it's quite interesting. I think, for me, it'll be a phenomenal move with Chelsea. Put it all, I think it'll be a, be a fantastic coup. Chelsea, as I stressed, need a versatile defender, and David Alaba, of course, brings you that. He's a versatile defender, he's world-class, he's a world-class centre-back, one of the best you know, left backs in European football. He's 28, so he currently is in his prime. He's not that injury prone. He'd be, you know, world class back off for Benjamin Chua, competing with Ben Chua, keeping his performances. Ben Chua will learn so much from David Alaba, and of course, David Alaba can cover centre back, so he'll get plenty of game time. And again, Kurt Zuma can learn from him, Christensen, so on, so on. But could you imagine our centre back partnership with Alaba, Thiago, and then Reese James, and then Ben Chua was your defence? You know, suddenly you're building a wall, you're building a fortress. You know, a wall that cannot be defeated. And as I stressed, by signing Alaba, it means that we can sell and move on Emerson and both Alonso. If, of course, he came in his versatility, his experience, and of course, his undoubtable quality would be a massive addition. If we want to be the best and have the opportunity to buy the best, then we must. For me, Alaba is a must signing. It's a no-brainer for me. He's 28. He's in his prime. He's world-class. Um, you know, he's not going to cost us a lot because he's going to be a free agent next summer. You know, he would like to come. And he's versatile. For me, like, there's a very, very minimal cons, and that would literally simply be just his wages. That would be the only con, in my personal opinion. You know, he would walk into every single Premier League team in the league. Like, for me, that's not even a question. He would walk into Liverpool and see his team. That's not even a question. Um, 
Is he, uh, would he walk into Liverpool's defence, of course, his partner up next to Van Dijk? Is he better than Robertson? You could argue, yes, he is. Man City, he'd easily sort into that left-back position. Would he partner up against Laporte? Of course he would. He's simply world-class and versatile. Um, yeah, I'll definitely take that value. But what are your thoughts and opinions? Leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's get into the second story of this video. And that is regarding Lionel Messi. Now, uh, this one, of course, is more of a fantasy. This is not really realistic for many reasons. I've made a couple of videos on this in the past. But essentially, um, uh, um, uh, Julian Balag, uh, the La Liga expert, he's essentially a Spanish journalist. He's relatively reliable. He's got some good credible sources. But he's saying that Chelsea are definitely in the equation if Messi becomes available next summer and they would compete with Man City for a signature. Now, when I first originally heard this, I wasn't too sure if I should believe it. I generally didn't. I don't think it's financially realistic. You know, as I said, Messi will become available next summer on the free. Um, you know, his contract expires next summer. He's unhappy at Barcelona. He's already stressed his unhappiness. He doesn't want to stay there. He will be a free agent. So, of course, we can sign Messi on the free. But because, again, he's a free agent, he's going to have an extortionate signing on bonus. And let's not even get into the wages. You know, we're talking, he's on a million a week at Barcelona. You know, he's going to command at least 75% of that. And can Chelsea really afford that? Is it financially responsible? I know he is the GOAT. He's the greatest of all time. For me, he's the greatest of all time ever to be seen. You know, there's always comparisons with him, him, and Maradona. Rest in peace, Maradona. But for me, Messi's the greatest of all time. He's the GOAT. So, of course, I wouldn't want to reject the GOAT because, of course, what it would bring to the team... But regarding his age and finances, is it financially responsible? Would I take him? Of course, that's not even a question. But I'm thinking, is it realistic? And my answer to that is no. It's not realistic. It's not financially possible. It's not financially realistic. And would he pick his favourite manager, Pep Guardiola, over Lampard? I know Lampard's got amazing pull power. But for me, he'd always go for Pep Guardiola because of his working relationship. He's Spanish. Um, you know, he's worked with Pep, they had a fantastic time together. But again, yes, of course, Chelsea would always be an equation because we're simply an elite club. You know, we're one of the best clubs in the world, so of course, we'd always be in the running for him. Messi quite likes Chelsea, he admires Chelsea, and we nearly signed him in 2015. Uh, we nearly broke the world record for him to sign him. It never, of course, materialised, but I don't see it being realistic. What would you guys think? Would you reject the GOAT or would you take the GOAT? If it's financially possible, leave me your thoughts and in the comment section below. But let's get into the final report, and that is Thiago Silva. Reported by Sky Sports, again, credible, reliable source. Chelsea will start official discussions with Thiago Silva's entourage over a contract extension early in the new year. For me, it's well-deserved. Um, he's been our best centre-back. You could argue he's been the best centre-back in the Premier League so far this season, especially with Virgil van Dijk's absence. He's, you know, 36 years of age, playing at this high level, simply phenomenal. He keeps in shape, he keeps his fitness. I've made a video on this before, how his wife helps him, his fitness regime, his you know, his um, diet, how he doesn't consume any alcohol. How he's keeping this fit at his age is simply admirable. He's a world-class centre-back, he's been Premier League's best centre-back, and for me, it's well-deserved. For the experience of what he's done to Kazuma, how he marshals that back line, how he's a leader, and he can definitely help us potentially win a major trophy this season. For me, it's well-deserved, and I would like to see Tiago Silva stay here for next season. Hoping that he does, of course, stay injury free. But that is me wrapping up the Chelsea transfer news early video for you guys. If you did enjoy this uh, video, to smash like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you guys for my next video. Peace.